two hours later guys and we finally got all the crazy damages pretty much 100 percent pulled out found a little paper here and this paper pretty much says that this car was possibly stolen this guy probably jumped a jump whenever he stole this thing because what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today what we're gonna do is work on our wrecked 2020 dodge charger hellcat right here that we bought from copart and it looks pretty crazy as it is right here but you know what we're gonna put our own touches to it and we're gonna make this sucker even crazier and let's just walk to the damages which is mainly in this area right here so that's what we're gonna get started with we're gonna tear it apart as best as we possibly can and get a list together go ahead and get everything ordered and get this sucker on the road before you know it also guys we are gonna attempt to try to rebuild this sucker in 24 hours it may not happen all in one day but you know what we are gonna keep a timer tab on every second that we spend basically cranking on this sucker. So as soon as our hands are touching this thing, that's when the clock is ticking right there. And there is gonna be a lot of downtime with parts and stuff, but you know what? We're gonna still attempt to get this sucker completely fixed in 24 hours. Let's get to it. All right guys, so 30 minutes later and it is not looking good because there is some serious stuff going on behind here. I mean, take a gander, man. Some of this stuff got pinched, crunched, pushed in even back here. I mean, there is some serious damage even up here. So it's not just the quarter panel, it's a little bit of inner structure as well, man. I mean, it's crazy, but I think we got this. I mean, hopefully we don't run out of time, but I think we're gonna get this thing knocked out with that blackjack frame machine. Other than that, the suspension, that stuff just easily popped off and we pretty much found everything online or at the dealership pretty quickly. I mean, this is crazy, but I mean, it's insane. I, I'm excited to actually see if we can get it in 24 hours. Dude, you know? this is gonna be a pretty tough one right here, especially with that inner structure damage right there. I think we're gonna try to straighten all that out, but Dude, we're gonna attempt it, and I think so far we're moving pretty good. Yeah, we're but. moving pretty good, pretty fast. The next step is to pretty much get this thing and just throw it on the frame machine and start tearing it apart. But before we do any of that, I think we should unwrap this thing, Dude, you know what I mean? I think so too. I mean, we're gonna unwrap it anyways, and on top of that, I wanna see how beautiful it looks without that wrap right there. Oh yeah, dude. Hopefully the paint is all good, no extra scratches. I wonder how long they had this on there, you know what I mean? Hopefully yep. it protected everything. But do we count this on the timer, unwrapping I, it? Is every, that part? every part counts. As soon as we're touching this, thing the timer is ticking so dude. hopefully this wrap peels off easily so let's just go ahead hop on this and see a whole new car
Now this right here is a brand new car, guys. We got that sucker completely unwrapped in a matter of one hour and 30 minutes, which that's just crazy. The five of us on that with that steamer completely obliterated that. And dude, this thing just looks absolutely insane, especially with the sun out. All those metallics in there just go absolutely crazy. The body lines pop way more, dude. I don't even see why somebody wrapped this sucker, dude. That looks wild, man. Dude, it looks good on the track hawk. It it looks even better on this wide body. I mean, dude. look at that contrast against like the sun and some shade. Dude, it looks insane. Dude, this is almost like a color shift paint. Look back here. Look how much metallics are popping right there. Billions of metallics. And then let's just hop to the front right quick. And it almost turns into like a super dark red over here, dude. That's why I love this color so much. And I can't wait to just get a little nice buff and polish on it dude this thing is gonna break next dude dude it just needs a wash and it look it would look even better but it looks so good it does and we did kind of have to pull it inside outside because the weather was acting super funny but i'm super happy the sun came back out and we pulled the car out it looks crazy but it is time guys to move on to the next thing which is gonna be framework so we're gonna get this sucker loaded up on the frame rack we're gonna probably take apart a few things and get ready for some frame pulling Is that little baby uh, concert tickets? Three tickets. Me, you, and him. Let's go. What? <laughs> dude, look at that. And they got wristbands and everything, dude. That is awesome right there, dude. So we have been finding out so much different things about this car. First off, how long did we spend doing what we did here? I mean, probably a little bit less than an hour, but we'll give it an hour, you know, just a little bit extra time just to be on the safe side. But it's strapped up. It's ready pretty much for some frame pulling, but we just started digging into this thing. We're popping some stuff out. We found out that Ratatouille did a number in here. I mean, this thing has like rat stuff everywhere underneath the seats and uh found a little paper here and this paper pretty much says that this car was possibly stolen dude dude 100 percent. so the previous owner pretty much had his car stolen and then somebody he probably wrecked it right i think i don't yeah. even know <laughs> i think that i think the owner of this car actually wrecked this car it wasn't stolen and wrecked because look he paid for a new window for this rear glass because this window was the only one that wasn't tinted so he just replaced this glass and he wanted to uh, uh, have a red key program so they probably stole this thing with the keys 
I don't know why you'd leave your keys in your car, but dude, that's crazy. But we don't still have the red key because we just got the black key, man. We're gonna get a red key. Let me tell you that right there. But that is just absolutely insane. How how do you Hellcats get stolen in general? It's so easy to steal yeah, these the things. Yeah, the number one stolen car right here. But there is companies out there that you install these special things that allow you know those computers to not steal these. So this one's definitely gonna get it along with every other Hellcat. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, sir. And a steering wheel lock and a wheel like a one wheel of those lock. boots. <laughs> or you get a removable steering wheel. What are they gonna do? Drive, drive it with their hands by script. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways um also this interior we're taking apart more more of this interior and that's just wild how somebody spent hours doing some nonsense hey, dude that looks like a lot of time and a lot of effort was put into this thing but it to, to look like that man that ain't worth it man it looks like a cat got to it that's man. what i'm saying at night it looks pretty sick but in the daytime looks like junk dude. dude definitely but we'll keep it we left those wires in there we'll resolder it and we'll leave the lights in there i think it'll be cool and another thing that we found out is the stolen thing this guy probably jumped a jump whenever he stole this thing because we we're looking the exhaust is smashed up and the over here the trunk the floor pan is kind of pushed up too and on some of the wheel wells it almost looks like the wheels rubbed up against all this plastic right here i mean you can see tire marks so this thing was been jumped and it bottomed out i guess whenever somebody stole it you know they just boot scoot and boogie they get out of there hey, man. that's that where that saying comes from drive it like you stole it yeah. somebody definitely he enjoyed this thing dude they drove it like they stole it for a little bit until the owner got it back and now it ended up right here and this is this is going to be crazy. This, this is where it's going to get insane. So, so far, we're probably about, let's see here. We've been writing on this door. We got one hour and 30 minutes, two hours right there, and then another hour. So, we're about three hours in this project, and we're getting things done, dude. Three hours in, and it's on the frame. I mean, another probably like 30 minutes to remove this whole entire interior to an hour, and then we'll probably set up our first pool. She looks sick right there. So we got all the interior pretty much tore out in a matter of what, like, I think it was like 45 minutes. It was right under an hour, yeah, dude. Yeah, 45 minutes. The most, I mean, the most important thing was to pull off the headliner that we can get the seat belts and everything off. But dude, look how crazy that is. And look at this. Wow. I'm gonna do Meteor. It's gonna look like a shooting star. No what? way. Look. Oh, dude, that was sick. What? <laughs> I think somebody messed up a little bit. It should have been more cleaner, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but, dude, that looks sick. Look at that. That's insane, man. Dude, but somebody literally spent days, I guess, or hours doing this because look at the other side over here. Look at all those optic lines, dude. There's at least a thousand dude minimum probably right like, there dude probably more than a thousand probably like three thousand of these or even more that's a lot of time spent on those but look how big those light boxes are they're actually on top of the headliner which is crazy um it does kind of like push on the headliner a little bit but dude that we may have to use this so this right here is our damage so i guess if this actually gets covered up by something we will run it if it doesn't we'll just go with an original headliner yeah, you know we'll what i mean just get a new one no big deal it would be cool to actually run this so if it works at the end of all this, we'll throw this back in. It'll just match everything else. But other than that, man, the car is pretty much gutted. I mean, this thing has completely been torn apart. I think we'll probably start tearing apart some of these wires and peeling them back once we start, like, cutting and welding and all that good stuff. But 
it's ready for some framework right now. Dude, let's bring out some hydraulics, let's dude. Let's do it. Let's set up an arm and see if we can pull something. Two hours later, guys, and we finally got all the crazy damages pretty much 100% pulled out. That looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's still needing a lot of work, but it's much better than it was. This area right here was probably pushed in like six inches, and you got that pulled out. And even the inside, look at that, dude. It was a little bit bent in there, but now it just looks original. Same over here in this area. You basically pulled this whole inner structure piece out. You see in there, dude, still a little bit mangled up. We're probably going to replace that, but dude, Pulled it out. That's what you got to do is you got to pull it out as much as you possibly can before you start replacing stuff. Same for this area. This was literally like a circle or something. Now you turned it into a perfect rectangle and that is just perfect, dude. dude honestly, with this tool, if you we had all the time in the world, we could save all this because this tool, could. we just did this for fun. We popped this out as best as possible, a little bit more, put a little bit of glaze coat, bondo it up, dude, spray it in, man. You literally could do that, but you know what? We're going to just go ahead and replace it because we already ordered all these parts right here. I think it's just gonna be a little bit more professional. It'll be easier too. And it's gonna be easier on us as well. And in this area, this floor pan on the inside was completely crumpled as well. And it looks pretty freaking good right there. Honestly, we could leave that, but I think if we have that piece, it's easy to replace it as well. So. Yeah, I mean, we straighten it out as best as possible. Now it's just a waiting game on our new quarter panel. That way yes. we can see where we need to cut this one and just start replacing. Dude, but the crazy thing about this Hellcat is we actually found the video of how this thing wrecked. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that footage right now. So it's pretty cool that we found that footage right there. So basically what happened, you guys seen, there was somebody with a dash cam driving this way, somebody behind them trying to overtake the dash cam person, charger coming from here and to avoid a head-on collision, they kind of swerved and that car just wrecked it. And dude, this thing held up amazing. I love how this thing is built and how stout it is because that other car looked like it was obliterated pretty dude, much. Dude, the speed in that crash, it looked like this thing would have been destroyed, but good thing these things are made out of all steel because yep. it basically saved this car. Dude, 100%. And what are the chances we found that footage? Somebody dude, had a dash cam. Dude. That is crazy. There's only uh, like one in a million when you yep. get a video footage of a wreck, but this is awesome, This man. is so awesome. And also, guys, we still are going to do a good bit more pulling once we actually pull off some of this stuff. We still got to pull in this area right here this hinge area needs to get straightened out and also this kind of like the rear frame rail right here it actually looks the same on the other side we just need to fix like this little dent right here and that area right there but that's why we tore apart that side over there so we can see that you know what we're working with pretty yeah. much dude. i mean it's getting really close honestly we're pretty much going to be done with it probably 30 40 40 more minutes or yep, something like exactly. that dude we're only six hours in dude we still got that's plenty crazy. more time to go dude that's insane we're actually moving super fast but anyways Right now, we literally can't do nothing else to this Hellcat right here. We might work on a different charger. I ain't got no 
Take this sucker out of hibernation, dude. Yeah, this thing burning off the old fuel and everything. It needed it, dude. Dude, yeah. we got something super crazy planned for this cop car right here. First off, we got the Vicrez wide body kit for this thing. I know we said we were gonna do original, but you know what? We actually found out that this kit is super high quality. Super dude. high quality, and it's gonna be quick because we we're trying to get original parts. It was gonna take a couple weeks here and there, and it was gonna be like seven thousand dollars. Over, $7, over dude. seven thousand dollars, which we're like, screw that, man. This is just like a shop car right here. It's a we're beater. Gonna, we're gonna throw on this good kit. I mean, it's gonna look just like a wide body Hellcat. It's gonna look insane, especially with this thing on here and the lights. It's gonna look awesome, dude. Dude, and we're not gonna stop there, guys. We'll tell you guys the plans for it later, but we want to crack this stuff open because we gotta prep it we gotta prep it. we gotta see what it looks like Alrighty guys, so we cracked open our Vicrez wide body and we just threw on the front bumper just to test fit it for now. And oh my goodness, it is just perfect fitment. Can't wait to have it all painted and the rest of the wide body on as well. This car is gonna be absolutely insane. And also, we got some other pretty epic goodies coming in for this thing here soon. But also guys, the Charger Hellcat right here, literally, I think we're gonna have it done in the next video and I think we're gonna get it all done within 24 hours, which that's just gonna be absolutely wild. We just wanted to try something a little bit different and I think we're gonna accomplish it. But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Got some epic things coming here soon. Definitely be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for all love and support. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.